Hello guys, welcome to New Tech Dojo Career Talks. Today we are going to focus on data science for drone industry. You know drones? Well, today I've got Pulkit Jaiswal. Pulkit was previously CEO for Swarmax and CTO for Garuda Robotics. These were among the leading robotics companies in Southeast Asia. In 2013, Pulkit was part of 20 Under 20 by Peter Thiel. And in 2015, he was part of MIT Technology Review Under 35 Youngest Innovators. So let's get started. Hey guys, I have Pulkit on the line. Hey Pulkit, here's my first question. Uh, a lot of our viewers are aware of what data science is. They know what's supervised learning, what's unsupervised learning. Now their question was, what is the application of data science in the drone industry? So the entire drone business is based on the premise that you're collecting this information and you're using this information for something good, something that the clients want, or you are generating some kind of an, some kind of an insight that you cannot generate, you know, via satellites or some other, you know, camera equipment. So um, specifically, if I had to come up with two or three challenges that we're solving using data science or the combination of big data and data science and AI in general is uh, one of the biggest problems is uh, precision landing. So in, in the drone industry right now, there are not a lot of ways you can have a drone land exactly at a point. So if a drone takes off from one point, it might not come and land back exactly where it was supposed to. And this is only solvable with some extremely expensive equipment, GPS equipment that costs $10,000. It's military grade equipment. So in, in my career, if I remember, one of the biggest problems we solved was precision landing. How we did that was we used a combination of camera and, uh, you know, GPS and something known as RTG system guidance techniques. So we received data from different kinds of sensors and we sort of pieced it all together and figured out exactly in a 3D uh, space where is a drone, um, uh, you know, compared to a reference point and we're able to guide the drone in real time to land exactly at a point. And this was probably one of the biggest achievements we, we had. Um, and then the second very obvious way we are using uh, data science is for processing the vast quantity of information. And it's, this information is extremely unstructured in na nature. Um, um, just looking at some of the stuff we did with solar farms and wind farms, we were using visual cameras to inspect uh, various infrastructure, looking for cracks, looking for faults, and letting the customers know that, hey, this is where you have a fault and this is how you need to go and fix it. And uh, getting that information out to the customers on time was very important. Um, so that was one clear application. Um, another application of uh, capturing visual information was when we were using cameras to detect ships arriving at ports. Uh, for several poor authorities as well as uh, shipping companies. This was very useful because, um, uh, especially in Singapore, uh, you have very limited real estate for parking ships and recognizing which ship is arriving, which company does it belong to, and how much time it is spending at any specific given point was very useful for a lot of these companies and authorities. Um, Last but not the least, we were using other kinds of sensors like laser and radar that give out completely different kind of information uh, that we need to sort of process and then sort of derive insights. So laser and radar, uh, or the combination of it called LIDAR, would give us uh, or help us build a 3D map of any given area. So whether it's an enclosed area or whether it's a building, we can map it out in full 3D specs and we're able to guide construction companies on how to uh, go on with their construction business. Now my second question is, what kind of algorithms do you use while using the drones? Because I understand that you have a lot of data sets from visuals. Which algorithms would you recommend for our users to learn? So even before I talk about the algorithms or the models they were, we were using, it's very important to mention that we were very lucky to get access to a lot of information directly from our customers. For example, when we were working with oil and gas companies, they gave us access to pictures of cracks in long-distance pipelines and 
Um, this was followed by us labeling and tagging these pictures and cleaning up the information and making the model uh, robust enough that it could be put on a drone and the drone's camera would be able to pick up these features and it would be able to recognize these faults. So I would say that the data cleaning and transformation process was probably the most difficult part of the, uh, this entire picture and uh, it was even more important than you know, getting the algorithm right. Then um, obviously this was followed by us constructing and training and building the model and testing it. And testing it on a moving platform like a drone is, is very different from doing it on a static platform or just using home security video cameras. So getting that right was very important. The tuning process was um, uh, uh, very complex and it took us a lot of time, but we eventually got it right. And uh, you can actually see it in, in some of the videos that uh, you know I've, I've, I've provided here. And yeah, basically once we had a good enough model uh, that was acceptable by the, uh, by the customers, uh, we were able to show some real results. So yeah. Thanks for this. And my last question is for personally my benefit. How do I get started on data science? I'm completely overwhelmed by the amount of web portals, authors, the Reddit, Quora. How do I get started on data science? Which books to read? Which authors to follow? Which blogs to read? So I'm not really a data scientist by any means, um, but what I have managed to do over the last few years or through my entire career is have a macro view on um, how data is analyzed and how data is collected by different means. And I've also had the chance to manage a couple of leading drone companies. Um, so what I can say is that how you're getting the data is probably as important as your data science skills. So this requires you to sort of talk to subject matter experts or really go to the core of recognizing what the problems are uh, in the specific sectors you're interested in you know, exploring. So for me, when I started my, started my drone business, I was very keen on solving problems for farmers, especially helping them in something known as precision agriculture. And in order to get into that space, I had to come up with novel solutions on not only how I'm going to acquire the data, which was using various kinds of sensors put on the drones, but how I was going to manipulate that data and deliver it back to the customer. And this requires you to literally visit the farm um, spend time there, understand how they are currently doing their processes and how you can streamline them or improve them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, my two cents on um, how, to, how to further and pursue your career in data science. So yeah, that's it. Hey friends, thank you for watching this video. I would really appreciate if you could help me with which next topic you would want to see in the New Tech Dojo channel. Please put your comments here.